Hello, Regni7, and welcome back to Strategic Command uh, um, the American Civil War. We are continuing to explore the War in the Americas DLC. And in this particular conflict, we are exploring the Paraguay versus Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay Triple Alliance. Where we, of course, have been playing as the, the allies of predominantly Brazilians, but supported by a reasonable number of Argentinians and a smattering of Uruguayan troops. Uh, thus far, we've kind of smashed through the main Paraguayan lines and, and closed in on their fortress of Humiata, as well as done some naval invasions upriver and are now threatening the capital of Pilar as well. To get the win, all we need to do is knock out the fort here. We don't need to take the capital. The advantage being if you take the capital, it does uh, cause supply issues in and around here. Um, yeah, so I think the, the plan is going to be to try and push up with our troops from this position. At the same time, we're just going to see if we can't press forward with Brazilians. Uh, and maybe we'll see if our Argentines can do something useful. These guys are in a bad condition. The morale is uh, in the toilet. So they're going to take a few turns just to rest and recuperate. And in fact, we're up against an uh, entrenched Paraguayan brigade here. So I'm actually going to pull these guys off the front line. Uh, they can't get off the front line um, because they're just going to perform terribly. We are at the end of our turns. So there may not be much we can do here. Oh, I'll pop you up to bits and pieces. That's all good. Uh, yeah, and we'll, we'll kick things off by, um, what's the word? Ending the term. Um, yeah, well, I think we'll have to give a blockhouse next turn. That's not a problem at all. Good. So we are into... 1968. Oh, and the veterans of Interior Army we deploy. So these are the Argentines who went off to deal with the Federalist Civil War. So we're now getting them to add to our collection. I'm not entirely sure where we're going to send them. We could maybe, because if these guys are essentially held in place as a recovery morale, we can use them to try and grab the secondary supply. And we are taking a bit of a battering here. Yeah, see, this is what I was worried about. These guys have terrible morale, so they fight. You don't fight well. They take big losses, and then we lost. You know, that's uncomfortable. Oh, well, that might be a unit we can take out. Maybe. Okay, that's fine. Good. Let's finish off. Oh, new boats. Finish off this blockhouse first of all. Uh, yeah, so. Huzzah. Now, our supply down here is pretty abysmal. Uh, this tireless Carazal is. Uh, sorry, it's not this one, it's this one here. This Taille is still recovering from being captured, so it's not pushing a huge amount of supply. And then our HQ uh, is boosting it, but it's, you see, it's pretty limited. Uh, let's move you I think, up the road to be fairly safe. So if we on supply point itself, we should push us forward a little bit. Indeed, we can keep marauding slightly. Um, I want to like to buff you up this cannon. Well, actually, I don't know what we do with the cannon. Realistically, we need another. If we want to go over land, we need another HQ to push this supply forward, or we're going to have to naval invade. These are the options available to us. Um, are you in poor supply? Still a little bit of scouting forward. Hello. Oh, you didn't attack. Can I attack you? No, because you already have. You have not, though. Nice. You survive here? You'll survive here. Let's get you out of the way and let's finish you off with these gentlemen. Okay, excellent. And let's have you guys hang around here so you can get. Uh, Improved next turn. I should have forced March through, but never mind. And we'll start kind of with a view to maybe moving towards Pilar. Uh, but we are going to need probably some naval stuff or just an extra, maybe not naval stuff, just an extra HQ unit to help push supply forward. Oh, hello. 
I'll do that. Three points. Uh, you, I would like to come down and get healed up. If in you please. Uh, yeah, so let's look at what HQs we can free up. So we've got four in here. We don't need four. To be honest, we probably don't need three. You are on a supply tile. I don't think you are doing anything. Although you are an eight, which is nice, but I'm going to pull you out and you're going to head towards the port over here. And we're going to pull you north. You can bombard a horse, so that's probably what I'm going to ask you to do. And I just want to start thinning out the enemy units here. Oh, I want to kill both of you if I can. I'm going to start with this attack, because how can I say no to that? Uh, you can take that four to one. I feel cheated, but I'll finish you off. That is okay. I'm even going to have you advance here. And I'm going to have to watch supply a little bit. But actually, it's okay. And if I push you up to about here, supply looks eh, slightly better. Uh, let's swap you two gents around and we can finish this division off. Three two is still not great, to be perfectly honest. That's not bad, and sure, I'll spend some shells on this horse just to make it feel bad about its life choices. Okay. Uh, how are we looking there? That's still six fives. These are okay, but... Uh, I should even be able to march you forward one, actually. Okay, bit of an advanced position. We can maybe try and push in against this horse. Next turn, we'll see what the counter-offensive barrages are like, because they have ones that are likely to hurt us. Uh, yeah, I'll put you over in a supporting position, and you can go there. Okay. This this is going all right. This Argentine horse just needs a bit of loving. As this Uruguay one, but he's presumably not great supply. Yeah. Let's go stand there. Now these are, I can't do anything with these Argentines, to be perfectly honest. So, rest, recover, maybe you'll play an important part in the fight. Who knows? Uh, and I spent all your points. I can't put you on a transport. That was slightly foolish. Uh, do I want you on a, this, this Brazilian on an amphibious transport? Maybe. That might be something interesting we could do. We could pop them up there, or... Naval invade a tile in here somewhere if there's a gap. I don't know. Let's do it. We'll stick them on. We'll head towards the front. I think it's a case of just trying to uh, finish off Paraguayans. I don't think there's much fight left in them. Which is about making headway without taking insane losses. Okay. This will do. It's nice that we've cut off the fort. Also, their primary supply, so that it's not going to affect the supply of units, but it will stop them reinforcing. Yeah, it's an unpleasant place to stand, that's for sure. I was going to say that might have been on in there, but not if, uh, not if he runs away. That's now a weakened unit. That hurt. That hurt quite a lot. Stop hurting me. Hello? Oh, I forgot to deploy them last turn. Well, I feel like an idiot. Okay, do these two down. Waste of turns movement. Let's get you heading up river. Let's get you headed to there so you can jump on a boat. Let's get these fine gentlemen to long range previous transports. Because starting in the north, there's probably not a huge amount we can do. Yeah, these guys are essentially at the limit of their supply. Um, I would like to actually 
use this horse to help encircle this foolish gentleman. Let's bring you down here for a turn and then maybe we'll push in behind him. Meanwhile, I will just reinforce the troops that are hanging about here. You can pull back. You can push forward. Hey, you repaired it. I'll keep doing that. Let's repair this boat. And then once we've got three or four ships in the area, we can start trying to take out a variety of forts. I would still like to hold. I can't really hold that position. Right. Some of these guys are badly burnt. Burnt. <laughs> badly bruised. And I would like to keep working upon them. I think this is a seven. Well, the attack through ground is not great. I did not mean to do that. Can I? Oh, come on. That's a super frustrating misclick. We even get an attack that goes in my favour. Well... Cannon's going to get absolutely wrecked. There's not much I can do about it. Let's keep topping up our Argent Mug and no money, so we can't. Their morale's still rubbish, so we'll hold them where they are. You can march over here. That might be us for this turn. Uruguayan president is assassinated. Dear old. That's promising. Okay, I'm okay with this. That oh, he ran away. That horse should be pretty vulnerable, um, given that it's just been re-enforced. Uh, Though actually, his redness isn't terrible, so hopefully we can lower it. Oh, that's actually okay. Now, see, he's gone grey there because he's now below fifty percent. Do you have a shell? You do have a shell. It promises it's taking up one of a good attack spots. Only a two to one. That's not ideal. Especially when we do that. Okay, let's pull you all the way back. Yes. Okay, this is absolute garbage. Mm, okay. Let's get you just on a transport, I think. And you're going to come all the way up here. You guys, you're going to come all the way down. Uh, yep. I'm going to drop you up here so you can boost supply and we can make a move on the capital. Meanwhile, I'm going to use, hopefully you guys can get there next turn, maybe. And we'll try and take out some of these forts from the sea.
Ok. No, I'm not really happy with my position. We don't seem to be moving around. I really thought we'd be able to crack them. I mean, look at there. The entrenchment value is down to zero. The raise morale is only at 30%. I thought they'd be taking much higher casualties. I'm a little upset, but it's not going better. But I think we should, with a couple of boats around, be able to take out some of these forts, which might give us an in. We'll see how that goes. Uh... Okay. Tell me, how bad is supply? Just we're having to wait for the other gentleman to get here. You're on a three. I'm going to pull you all the way down here, which is going to mess up my supply in the north. Uh, quite dramatically. But that's okay. I'm just going to pull you gents back slightly. And I'm going to do this so I can we can make a move to cut off these troops because their supply is going to be pretty rubbish after this. Well, what's Laurel's? That's not going to happen because your supply is eight. Oh well, it was a nice thought. Go cool. and turn. Well, we've got enough to buy a brigade, but at this point, I don't see. It. I don't think there's a point at the minute. I think we're, it's going to end before we manage to get any more reinforcements. Maybe that's wishful thinking. Ouch! And there she goes. Okay. This is the HQ we're going to push forward, so let's push you up the road like so. I don't really care about this town, it was a bit of a distraction. We'll push you on the road and we'll get you as far forward as we can. You're going to pull back. You are going to pull back. Really? Well, okay, you might have tripped. Frankly, I don't really mind. Next time we have lots of wonderful supply. We are undoubtedly going to bump into someone at some point. We've got more than enough troops to kind of push through here, and yeah, you can hit that because why not? Or some spend some points reinforcing. Okay, down here, can we start making things go a little bit better in our direction? That was the reverse of what I was promised. Okay, that was much better. Nice, okay, one fort down. If we can take a couple of forts, I'll make feel better about life. Let's bring our Argentine troops up here. Or maybe we could just land a bunch of forces. I say a bunch, a couple of forces in the rear here. They'd be exceedingly vulnerable. But it might give us the, the edge we need just to push through. Uh, take this attack. I think we finally have enough to kill a single horse. Let's pull you sideways back up. What direction do we want to go? We must move it once. In which direction? Uh, I want to bring this 10 over, which we can. We've got to say where to put you. And it might be... Here. And there's... A small amount of method in that madness. No one to fill that gap, which is not ideal. But I'm going to bring our supply man 
or where the tile I find I just want you to around. So that. Good. And we'll try and pressure a little bit over here. See if we can get in behind these guns. And yeah, we could drop these troops just in on this side and start just squeezing in. Supply's going to be nightmarish, but I think that might be enough just to to get us over the line and call it call it a W. I'm going to pull in here just to keep threatening this blank as well. Supplies me. Possible. How are you guys doing? Morale 3, 3, 3. Still pretty blooming terrible. Well, you guys get to sit there and look pretty. Okay. We're, we march and the capital goes. Pushing in towards the fort. I think we're doing alright. That's an interesting choice. I'm okay with those numbers. That's upsetting, but that six is very vulnerable. Here you go. He's back here somewhere. Okay. Question is, what does this attack look like? Terrible. Spotted this gent, though. Alright, let's take out a siege unit. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do it with what? I will attack with you and then pull you back actually. Shift this eight over here and we're gonna push up with this ten. Oh we didn't get it. That's quite annoying. So I want to advance with this nine strength unit. Will you destroy it? Doesn't say you will. Well, I'll give it a go. Okay, brilliant. I know we had an attack in this eight. I could have used this. Now gets us inside their defenses. Yeah, those odds are not great. See if I can't shatter another one while I'm here. Oh, come on, man. Okay, done. Boldly go into the trenches. And now what we want to do is really just put... Uh, I was going to say pressure. It's not really any pressure at all. Uh, just on these units in front of us. I don't know if we're just about at the win, but a little bit more work required to eke it out. Meanwhile, right, you're going to bump into someone, and you are not going to bump into someone. You do. Okay, it's good to know. I mean, I could have scouted that with this unit. Frankly, laziness. Okay, 
limit of your supply gets us to here. Uh, it's not what I'd call ideal. Okay, you're gonna die, but I don't really mind. So I think we'll give it a turn, and then I think we might be in a position to amphibicize these gentlemen. See what efforts they've got left in them. Okay. We can get two there. Can you reach? You cannot. Can you reach? You cannot. Okay. You might be in a position... Next turn, just take out the main fort. Although I suspect they're going to be renewed in attacks after having reinforced everyone. If we can take out this position, which is a bit of an ask, I'm not going to lie. And we could potentially have a few different sides there on this fort. Oh, never mind. Alright. Their fort falls next turn. Good. Oh, I feel cheated. Right, nothing else really matters, to be honest, because once that falls, uh, we're done. Let's see if we can't push on the capital. Ah, oh, more of them. Hmm. Yeah. I would need a third. HQ to make a difference. Okay, doesn't matter. Next time this fort's going to fall and that's going to be us done. Pointless you attacked my poor balloon, but whatever. Harsh. No, oh, they might do enough to weaken me so I can't take it, but it is only a five. Well, we didn't get the one there. I think we've got enough strength. Yeah, there she goes. Tell what, why don't we... Uh... Oh, you can't. Why don't we take some realistic more casualties? There you go, you joined the fight. Right, no matter. That is GG. You know, let's just not fuck around. We'll take it. There we go. Victory! Just a minor one. Uh, and that's through times. So if you check the victory conditions, uh, nope. You'll see that the major victory, you've got to do it before the turn of the year. So we're like six months out. Probably could have done it sooner if I had been a bit more focused. I'm not sure we needed this whole distraction, to be perfectly honest. We would probably be in better place to have come in 
uh, I don't see here taking the supply and then threatening this flank a bit earlier or something. Either way, that was good. Job done. Can't complain. And it was on veteran difficulty as well, so. I think we, we did a put, put a good innings in. And that's going to do it for uh, Strategic Command for just now, anyway. And we, we've run through most of the scenarios in the new DLC. Uh, the only one is Surrender the Main I haven't covered, but I'm playing that offline with a friend, so I want to keep that one for me. I would like to come back and maybe do another main campaign as a Confederate, potentially on Veteran, but as we've got the Confederate playthrough of Grand Tactician, I don't want to do it once, so I'll probably put uh, Strategic Command on a, on a shelf for a wee bit, and we'll pull it out at some point in the future. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed this little playthrough. I think it's always interesting. I always enjoy exploring new conflicts and, you know, learning a little bit about them and usually encouraging me to go and read a little bit. Um, and yeah, I think we did. We did okay. So, well, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheerio.